Hey gamers, Tony here from the Smartphone Nation, and I'm back with another Let's Play slash overview. And today I'm taking a look at a game that just came out uh, this week. It has the Unreal Engine developed by Phosphorus Games, uh, the people who brought us Horn on the iOS and Android platform, one of the most popular kind of action-adventure games of the past year. And uh, the new movie with uh, Brad Pitt is coming out here shortly, World War Z. And so this is the game based on, well, I guess it's probably based loosely on the movie. I don't know too much about it, but I thought this would be a good one to do a Let's Play for. So, to be honest, I just uh, started the game. So, looks like there's a couple modes, story mode and challenge mode. Ooh, cool loading screen. And it's in, it's interesting. You can kind of do a dual analog stick control um, type thing, uh, and you can choose to have the weapon automatically fire or not. But you can definitely see some survival elements uh, with the zombie, kind of a zombie apocalypse. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything like Brad Pitt's actual voice in the game or anything like that. Um, you're playing this guy, and supposedly you and your wife are divorced. And your son is overseas, and he called you right before a plane wrecked in the bar that you were in, and he said basically his mom was trying to kill him. And so, kind of interesting. The control scheme that I prefer is not the dual analog stick, it's actually a touch-based one. And so I can tap anywhere that I want to go and the characters kind of goes there so you can see it's interactive environments it is a first person obviously and a first person shooter as well so you can kind of free roam around the room and collect different things so you get a piece of survival element the game looks absolutely amazing on the ios platform so uh, looks like someone's trying to get in over there so maybe avoid that if we can so it's a yeah a combination of kind of the first person action adventure uh, survival type game, and then there's kind of a mix almost of on rails in a lot of ways. So can't go everywhere, but uh, go a lot of places. So. Yeah, if you haven't played Horn yet, um, definitely recommend that, especially uh, it's a game built from the ground up for the iOS platform, and they did a really good job with it. Guess I'm supposed to go in here. Oh man, I have no clue what the code is. Guess I need to find something that will help me get the code. Maybe I'll even get to kill some zombies you get to see. <laughs> Yeah, so you actually get to explore some of these characters and gain XP and things like that as well. So the game is uh, $4.99 in the App Store. This is being recorded, obviously, with the Hapog HD PVR2. It's one of the few uh, devices that will actually capture iOS and Android footage. So I highly recommend it for that reason. It's being captured in 1080p at 60 frames per second, but I usually render a little bit lower than that just so it uploads faster.
Got to find some sort of a code somewhere. Not having the best of luck with it. Oh, wow. So you can dodge these zombies here, and then when they come back, you can push, and then you swipe down to kind of attack them. And there we go. So, from what I've seen of the trailers of the movie, um, the zombies definitely attack quickly. So, And the game does kind of guide you along if you get stuck, so that's kind of nice. So, But I'm very impressed with the, the visuals of this game. I, as you can see, it just looks really amazing. So, And we're getting a phone call. We had heard earlier that if we called a person named Troy, um, that he had a helicopter with seats left, if there are any survivors. We heard that on the radio, so we're calling him now. I like games like this, just simple adventure games that you can kind of take along with you and play on the road. So I have to fly out on a business trip this week, and we be taking this game and trying to finish it, so... So I'd like to hear your opinion in the comments below, maybe, um, if you prefer games like the one I reviewed yesterday, Uno and Friends, that, you know, you can take on the road, um, kind of play really quickly, get a, get a lot accomplished shortly, or if you like games like this that are actually, you know, almost console quality experiences on the mobile platform. So it's the same that Horn was for iOS, um, fantastic third person adventure game. Uh, and it was just, it was really neat. So, I, I like a little bit of both personally, um, but I am interested to hear uh, what some of your thoughts are on what you prefer. So, I'll leave them in the comments below. Also, any uh, game suggestions or news stories that you would like to see for uh, Smartphone Nation, let Rich or I know. Um, I know Rich has been real busy with Review Tech USA. But uh, he's going to be doing a lot more videos for Smartphone Nation um, as soon as he's done with his job, which is going to be very soon. So, looking forward to that. I'm back down to that uh, computer panel. And it looks like I'm still missing the code I need to get through the door. So, I need to figure out where to go with that. Gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe. I don't think I've any I don't think I've picked up anything already for that. Uh, let me see. Nope. So I hope you all are enjoying uh, Smartphone Nation as much as I am. I'm really enjoying having a completely dedicated mobile channel. been a lot of fun so oh there's a number right there look at that nine four eight seven duh see if that works this game's tricky oh yeah there we go Yeah, I honestly, since I haven't seen the movie, I have no clue whether or not this follows the movie or not, but uh, I'm assuming it's just kind of a side character that you're playing, that they're just kind of making up the story as you go here. The 
It's funny, this part I decided to do a Let's Play on, there's hardly any zombies, but the first part of the game, man, I was blasting them all over the place. It's pretty funny. Let's see if we can find a group of them here. That's such an awesome loading screen. I love that. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like these uh, shadows of dark running zombies. So here we go. Here's some action. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he was talking to someone on the phone. She got attacked and eaten by zombies. These are the fast running zombies, though, that we see in the trailer for the movie. So it's really interesting. I'm just amazed at how uh, how good the quality is on a game like this, especially for iPhone. It just looks absolutely amazing. So we're somehow trying to get around the world to get to his son. You know, people are already freaked out about a zombie apocalypse already, so why'd they have to go and make a movie like this where they're running and they're extremely fast? That's crazy. I'm assuming we just opened the gate. Yep. This kind of reminds me in some ways of a point-and-click adventure um, from the old days. Oh, here we go. Here's some action. That was a close one. You can turn automatic firing on or off. Um, automatic is... As soon as you hover over a zombie at any part, it starts firing. That's what I have on. I, 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 I like the touch uh, point and click kind of adventure. So that's the way I'm playing. There's this really awesome scene where I was running through an alley and uh, there were zombies just falling out of a window of like a three or four story building. In addition, there were uh, there's another one where I was being chased in a truck at the beginning. It was it was pretty amazing as well. So let me know if you pick this one up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's for Android yet. I haven't taken a look, but uh, let me know if you picked it up and what your thoughts are. Always uh, interested to find out more. So. I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, Let's Play in a minute, but uh, pretty sure this is a pretty good experience so far. I've, I've enjoyed playing what I have played, and we'll see how the game gets you know, down the road. Nothing too crazy here. Man, this guy's ticking me off. I like ending, ending a video here by... Uh, getting punched in the face. Oh, I've been defeated. All right. Well, this has been Tony from Smartphone Nation. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to us. Hope you enjoyed our first uh, hands-on look at World War Z for iOS, and hope you have a great day.